Welcome to Deering Estate, everyone. Jared, your naturalist here, uh, with another virtual animal encounter, and today we'll be focusing on a classroom pet. So today we'll be focusing on yet another slithery squamy. This one actually a native to Florida, uh, the Florida king snake, previously known as the Brookside. Uh, this Florida king snake does have another morph coloration, the common uh, type, I guess you can say. Um, now this particular morph that you see here will probably uh, be seen more in the southern portions of Florida as it does tend to look more like the eroded limestone and egg layer. Uh, loves to predate uh, frogs, lizards, rodents, but also has an appetite for snakes and at that even venomous snakes. It's a pretty special snake. Uh, especially with the common name uh, king in its actual name class uh, king snake. Uh, you can possibly think of it uh, as uh, the king of the snakes out here. Uh, a bigger snake than most of the snakes that we do have out in Florida. Aside from the eastern indigo, yet another type of snake that does predate other snakes uh, that is native to Florida. Uh, this one actually uh, is pretty special because you can actually find it uh, just about anywhere uh, from central Florida all the way down to almost the Keys, uh, to the base of the Keys. Uh, you probably find it uh, all throughout uh, the Everglades and uh, the Redlands, especially in disturbed areas where a lot of the rodents and the farmlands will be. So somewhat of a constrictor, even though it's not known to be a constrictor, it is actually a colubrid snake. It's very slender, it doesn't have that girthy uh, type of mass that you see. Uh, it does not have keeled scales, uh, even though it does tend to appreciate burrows where it will actually uh, uh, house, uh, house itself uh, along with gopher tortoises. Now, uh, this snake does still possess a few cool traits. Of course, you do still see the uh, flickering tongue. That's just going to be uh, every snake that you see out there. So another quick observation on the, uh, on the head. Uh, you do see the eyes are actually uh, very rounded out, not like the uh, nocturnal eye set of the red tail boa, uh, which is good for uh, acute light sensing. Now being a terrestrial species of snake, uh, she can't really climb trees, although that doesn't mean that she won't go up a fence or on salt palmettos uh, or sable palms. She still does tend to climb a little bit. Uh, you could see that from her uh, kind of semi-prehensile tail. As you see there, she's kind of gripping onto the area, uh, but she's not an arboreal species. She's not gonna clinch onto trees and go up trees as easily as an arboreal snake would, like a corn snake uh, or that red tail that I uh, pulled out much earlier in the series. Lastly, like most other snakes, uh, lifespan uh, is not a long one, at least in human terms, possibly around a decade, a decade and a half. Uh, they don't really go past uh, 15, maybe 20 years. We hope you enjoyed today's virtual field trip. And of course, we're not in the wild. Uh, enjoying these guys. Take a video, take a picture. Do not touch the wildlife. And of course, share it with us on Instagram at Discover Deering. Peace out.